Hey there friends, how's it going? Richard here coming at you from uh, the new 2023 Model Y. Uh, took delivery on Saturday, uh, put some miles in it, went driving a little bit uh, around Brooklyn, um, checked out a farmer's market there. Uh, yesterday spent the, drove it out to Central Park for a softball tournament I was playing in. Um, but I wanted to hop on real quick and share the one, uh, not the one, but one of the biggest um, between driving the Model Y and the my prior car, the 2020 Model 3 or just the Model 3 generally. I'm not going to talk about the space and when I, obviously it's a sedan versus an SUV, but like the interiors are almost identical except this one thing. In available Tesla inventory was on Friday. Um, today is Tuesday and wow, wow, wow. The discount, I guess what Tesla was doing to push out inventory has worked. This number on Thursday and Friday of last week was close to about floating between 450, maybe approaching, if I remember off the top of my head, 500 vehicles available in the United States, model new model wise anyways. And today we're down to 132. That's like a 75% reduction in inventory. So whatever Tesla's doing to push their vehicles off the off their books and into customers' hands is working. Um, I thought that that number would continue ballooning as we got closer to the end of June, end of uh, Q2 in the United States. But this was really surprising to wake up. Um, I, actually, yesterday I saw that the, the number had gone down substantially. Again, 100 something models available. Uh, right now we're at 132 new Model Ys available in inventory. So if you are considering getting a new Model Y, um, now may be the time to do it. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it doesn't look like or I don't think uh, prices will go down or Tesla is going to slice anything off of the the starting price MSRP of the particularly the Model Y. They're doing stuff with the Model 3, the Model S and Model X. Uh, model 3 is particularly because it's, it's expected that their refresh model is coming out shortly. Model Ys are coming out with, a, they're being released just recently, even the one I picked up over the weekend has some new hardware available, Hardware 4, uh, which I'll do a video on if you want to check that out in a bit, should be up shortly. Um, so Model Y prices I think are going to stay right about where they're at until at least we get closer to maybe a refresh. I don't know if that's going to be later in the year or sometime next year. Um, but for right now, at this very moment, Tesla, the available inventory for Tesla Model Ys is down about 75%. Uh, that means that you, the customers, have been out there, kind of like me, taking inventory for Model 3s. Um, so we'll see where this number goes in the next coming days and weeks as we approach uh, the end of Q2. Anyways, with that, getting back to that thing that really bothers me about the Model Y. And if you can see through the back, that's the uh, the view, the windshield or, or the, the rear window of the Model Y. And because of the sloping roof, like it's a very small opening. Um, it, it almost looks like, how can I say this? You get it some cars, like the rear view mirror itself is massive. The Model 3, for instance, had the same size rear view mirror as the Model Y. I'm pretty confident saying that. But because of like the expand, the, the window in the back, like the entire mirror was the window in the back. Uh, you could just see, you could see everything going out the rear. But for what, you know, the Model Y, because of the slope of that window, it's actually just a fraction, maybe half of the rear view mirror. And so the field of vision going backwards is a lot less. Now, sure, you've got your rear view mirrors themselves which are larger here, I think like boxier than the Model 3. The Model 3 were kind of like small and compact. Um, and you've got the cameras, which I'm still, even after like a year of using those those cameras on the, um, the center console screen, I'm still not like fully reliant on them. Maybe it's just me being a dude who's relying on the way I learned how to drive, but I still always use mirrors as opposed to the cameras when I'm looking backwards. But that's the one thing, even when I, when I um, drove Model Y for like a, a few days back when I originally got the Model 3. I took it in for service and they gave me a Model Y loaner. That, this thing right here was like the biggest challenge I experienced inside of the Model Y. It's just um, a very narrow 
field of vision going backwards and I really wish that it was larger. Um, just the, the Model 3 was great. It was so expansive. You could see, you just like look into your rear view mirror and you saw everything back there. The pillars in the rear also didn't really affect or impact vision. It's just so much you could see through that rear window, uh, through your rear view mirror going backwards. But on the Model Y, that is probably my biggest, you know, it's, it's not a challenge or anything. It's just, I wish that the Model Y had that same design. Now I understand that it's, it's the, because of the hatch and the slope on the door, you really can't do it. Otherwise you have a much boxier look and I, I don't know how that impacts uh, efficiency, but for what it is, it's about, think about the rear view mirror and about half of it is going to be your field of vision going through that rear window. So uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you if you are in the market for, let's say a Tesla, and if you're like comparing the Model 3 versus the Model Y, uh, yeah, sure, the Model Y has a ton more space, higher up, sits higher up. Um, but one of the one of the things, if you're someone who like needs, uh, especially when you're driving like this on the Van Wyck Expressway or the BQE, and you're always like looking out, uh, you know, traffic and seeing where people are and what they're doing at any given moment, and you're someone who wants like an expansive vision, uh, field of field of vision, that may that window right there may present a challenge to a lot of people. Um, I know. You know, many people buy like the the rear view mirror attachments to make that even larger that wouldn't help because you're only you're 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 limited to the window in the rear um and it's again it's just not very expansive so uh just keep that in mind if you are considering a model y uh otherwise hopefully you enjoyed this hope you found it fruitful if you did give it a thumbs up and if you are in the market for for a tesla whether model 3 model y model s model x be sure to check out the referral link below. If you're not aware, Tesla does have a referral program. It works by credits. Um, they took it away for a while. They brought the referral program, program back. And why would you want to buy a Tesla using a, the referral program? Well, very simply, when you use someone's referral code, you get credits. The person who refers you gets credits. And then you can redeem those credits in the Tesla store for whatever, charging stuff, clothing, apparel, whiskey, whatever they're selling now these days. Uh, or you can use them for supercharging miles. So as we're approaching summer, summer starts at the time of filming this video tomorrow, June 21. Um, you know, you get some supercharging miles to drive with your new Tesla. So be sure to use your referral link, clear your cookies and cash, and, or use that link in an incognito window to make sure that you get it applied to your purchase. Anyways, with that, until next time, you take care, be well, bye for now.